Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 five-star heroes from Selective Summon in Epic 7. So let's start off with number 10, Ludwig. This hero deals a ton of damage with skill number 3. The problem is he needs to have uh, invincibility on himself. He needs to be invincible, so he can do it with his skill number 2, or he could get it from another hero like Elena, Blaze Dingo, Crimson Armin, and uh, there's going to be a downtime between uh, him getting invincibility and then him using skill number 3. So this could be a problem, it could be problematic, he could be uh, controlled, uh, you know, stun, silence, something of the sort. But his damage is very high, he's got uh, top tier base attack at over 1400 and in uh, Raid in uh, Labyrinth he actually has 30... 39 camping morale if you pair him with uh, Momorancy, Lorena, and Ras, which is actually very good. But he is at number 10 because he can be used in uh, uh, like a lot of different areas of the game. He's going to be more for uh, PvP in uh, mid to late game, I would say. In ninth position, we have Isaria, the Earth Ranger. This hero is gonna shine in late game, that's the issue. Uh, with your Selective Summon, you need a hero that's gonna be impactful in early game, mid game, uh, all the way to uh, late game. So Isaria needs to be paired with uh, Tamarine or Dark Corvus, heroes that are not easy to obtain uh, because she actually reset the cooldown of any ally except for herself. So that's very cool. If you have a high cooldown, 8 turn, 9 turn, 10 turn cooldown, you just reset that. Uh, with uh, her skill number two very powerful uh, skill number three dispel all uh, buff decrease defense unable to be uh, buff debuff for two turns this is very strong this hero is used in pvp offense uh, in arena most of the time you can use her in guild wars as well don't really see her in world arena you can bring her in raid you can use her in the abyss you can use her in banshee you could maybe use her in golem early on but she shines in manual play. You can't just turn on auto and expect her to do great and just reset the cooldown of the right ally. It's just not going to work that way. So this is going to be a late game hero and I would not recommend her as your selective summon. But nonetheless, she is in ninth position. Let's move on to the next one. In 8th position, we have Bell and Season, Fire Mage, Gemini Star Sign. This hero has two area of effect attacks with skill number 2 and skill number 3. If you kill with skill number 2, it resets the cooldown of skill number 3. Both of them have 3 turn cooldown, which is very good. Uh, this hero was actually buffed. And uh, you got decreased speed debuff, defense down debuff, and unhealable debuffs for two turns at 85% chance to apply them if it doesn't get resisted, of course. 85% uh, chance each. So those are uh, quite uh, powerful debuffs. And you got poison debuff on skill number one, which is 5% of the target's max health in damage. Lasts for two turns, so that's 10% of the target's max health in damage if you apply poison. Uh, so that's very good. It's a mage. You have a lot of uh, very powerful mage artifacts as well. So I would say that this hero can be used as your farmer. You can bring this hero in raid and labyrinth. Uh, you can actually get 43 camping morale if you bring uh, this hero with uh, Momorancy, Lorena, and Ras. So very good there. And uh, yeah, in the abyss as well. In PvP, not so much, but you could uh, use this hero to set up the defense break to uh, have your main, uh, you know, cleaver area of effect uh, damage dealer to uh, clean up the enemy team. So uh, a pretty cool hero to have. Chloe in seventh position, Ice Warrior. This hero actually gives. 38 camping morale in Raid and Labyrinth with uh, Momorancy, Lorena, and Ras. I'm talking about Momorancy, Lorena, and Ras because these are free heroes, so an easy to obtain team, of course. So Chloe is going to be amazing for Wyvern. Wyvern, she is a Wyvern killer. She has a debuff with a magic nail that cannot be resisted. Debuffs is the name of the game when it comes down to Wyvern, guys. And uh, this 
Skill number three deals a ton of damage. You have an exclusive equipment for her as well. One of them uh, decreased defense with skill number three. One of them uh, has a 50% chance to get an extra turn with skill number two. So I would say this hero is not used in too many areas of the game, but you can successfully use her in uh, Wyvern. You can use her in the Abyss. You can use her, especially in Raid, to deal a ton of damage to uh, the boss. So uh, in PvP, she's not really going to be used. You could use her as a one-shotter, but she's ice. She's going to be at elemental disadvantage. She doesn't provide uh, so much for the team, really. Uh, so I don't really see her in PvP. But nonetheless, uh, a ton of damage in Wyvern. And uh, that's going to be an, a very important part of the game for you because you need to farm gear, gold, and crafting materials there. You're going to be spending a lot of time there. And she's going to make it much easier for you to actually uh, farm a higher stage uh, without needing that uh, good of a gear set. In sixth position, we have my boy Ken, Fire, Warrior, Capricorn, Star Sign. This hero is uh, a single target damage dealer. He has very powerful debuffs. He's got Defense Break debuff on skill one. He's got Defense Break debuff on skill number two as well. Increases his speed when he has the Vigor buff from skill number three. He does ignore effect resistance uh, to apply Defense Break. You can Soul Burn skill number two to get an extra turn. The combo of skill two into skill three is very deadly in PvP. This stuns, decrease attack for two turns and gives you the Vigor buff, uh, which increases your attack and defense by 30%. This hero is going to be used in Golem. Uh, I don't recommend that you farm Golem. Uh, Wyvern should be the uh, hunt stage that you actually farm. Instead of Golem, the set values in Wyvern are uh, better. And uh, I would say that Ken is very powerful. I started my third account with uh, Ken. You can use him in the Abyss very successfully. You can be using him in Raid and Labyrinth. He will give you 37 camping morale with Momorancy, Lorena, and Raz. So uh, very powerful there with uh, his debuff. You build him very high health, which will increase his damage and his survival because he's, he deals damage based on his max health, but also based a bit uh, on his attack as well. So a very solid hero. In fifth position, we have Tywin, the Ice Knight, Airy Star Sign. This hero is actually very good for Labyrinth and Raids. He gives you 44 camping morale with uh, Momorancy, Lorena, and Raz. This hero is in a lot of uh, top camping morale teams. He brings a lot to the table. You can be using him as your frontliner in uh, Wyvern. You can be using him, of course, in Raid and Labyrinth. You can be bringing him in PvP, Offense, Arena, Guild War, and World Arena because he has decreased defense. An area of effect attack attacks everyone, applies defense, break, debuff, which uh, decreased their defense by 70%. Very, very powerful, unless it gets resisted. Of course, he gets defense buff. Survival increase, you want to build him very tanky. He will deal more damage the more health he has. And skill number two is insane. Increase attack buff. Attack buff for the target and himself. And critical hit chance buff, 50% crit chance increase. Very, very strong. And 30% combat readiness increase as well. Uh, so you can soul burn his skill number three into skill number two for some insane amount of damage. Very, very deadly. The spell on skill one. Uh, an amazing hero for sure can be used in multiple areas of the game. Frontline him in uh, Wyvern and he can hold it. Not the best hero to hold the front line, but still he will bring uh, some useful, uh, useful things for the team. In fourth position, we have Fire Knight Charlotte. Very good hero now after uh, multiple buffs that she received. This hero actually does attack everyone with uh, skill 1 if she has a buff on herself, which is very dangerous. And uh, she's getting 20% combat readiness increase, so she's going to be able to cycle uh, more faster. She's going to be able to go more often. And uh, the attack break on skill 1 is very welcome. Uh, the best debuff in the game to actually increase your survival. When she gets attacked, she receives attack buff and defense buff for one turn. That is very, very huge. Like, uh, that is so much value right there. And uh, her skill number three applies on healable 
for two turns and always lands at a crit as a critical hit and skill number one always lands as a critical hit if you have a buff so in uh, late game you're going to be able to build her with uh uh, more survival and build her with super high critical hit damage don't have to worry about her crit chance which is going to be very very powerful in uh, term of where to use her you can use her as your uh, farmer you can be using her in raid and labyrinth she's going to be giving you 30 39 camping morale with uh Momrancy, uh lorena and ras so that's very good and also you can be using her in the abyss you can be using her in pvp uh, in all sorts of places arena guild wars world arena and you could even set her on your defense in guild war and uh, maybe even in arena so uh, yeah very very dangerous hero that puts a lot of pressure on the battlefield when she is buffed with the constant aoe attacks on skill number one in third position we have bazaar the earth mage aquarius star sign this hero is very cancerous in pvp you can set him on your uh, arena defense you can bring him in arena offense guild war offense guild war defense uh, world arena this hero why is he so widely used in pvp it's because you have ignore effect resistance uh, with the soul burn and you remove all buffs off of uh, the whole team and apply enable to be buffed debuff for two turns so they cannot be buffed for two turns unless they remove this debuff which is very dangerous and also decreases their combat readiness by 30 percent so that's insane and then skill number two attacks everyone and has a 75 percent chance each to decrease hit chance apply decrease hit chance debuff and uh, decrease attack debuff for two turns so these two debuffs are insane in terms of survival increase because they heavily cripple the enemy team. You've got tr uh, debuff transfer on skill one, uh, debuff that is on you, uh, one will be transferred off of to whoever you're attacking and you uh, inflict a random debuff as well for two turns. So this hero can be stacked with insane amount of speed, you don't need to worry about anything else you just need a tagiel's ancient book artifact and you can soul burn skill three don't even need to worry about effectiveness and then you can like start crippling the enemy uh with uh well skill number three you won't be able to land this if you don't have a high effectiveness you will need like 200 percent 300 percent in high-end pvp just to let you guys know and this hero you can uh use him in uh well pvp of course if you bring him in uh raid and uh, labyrinth he actually gives 31 morale with uh momorancy lorena and ras uh i have i wrote like uh, with alexa 35 morale with maya 34 morale but he is definitely a pvp god uh you could be using him in pve as well i mean uh raid labyrinth you can just cripple the enemy team uh remove buffs of the uh the enemy the buff uh the boss or whatever uh in the abyss as well those debuffs are gonna be super handy for uh, crippling them and lowering uh, their damage output toward you considerably so yeah a hero that is not gonna be uh, useful early on for you that much it's gonna be a hero that shines in late game and uh yeah so this is more for advanced players not a new player that starts epic 7 unless you're really gonna be into uh, pvp and you want to hold off uh, up until like you're ready to uh, get into uh, pvp more seriously but uh, yeah definitely a very uh, powerful hero uh, and i would say even overpowered in pvp because uh, what he brings to the table is just too much but you need a team to back him up you can't just have him he won't solo the enemy team like he won't be doing damage he will be crippling them so you can actually uh, do something against them and make it easier for you in second position we have vildred the earth thief leo star sign this hero is a speed farmer you can use him in so many different areas of the game very very powerful and dangerous he's got speed memory imprint that means like if you want to go first in pvp this will help you out 
But Vildred, you can use him uh, from the start of the game all the way to late game, no problem. This hero deals a ton of damage. It is actually quite ridiculous. And he uh, just attacks everyone with uh, skill number three. This scales based on his attack and his speed. Soul burn, 10 souls, increases the damage dealt, uh, lowers the cooldown to four turn. When he actually lands any sort of kill to anyone with skill number one or two, uh, three, uh, he will get attack buff, increase attack by 50% for two turns, and he will just uh, attack everyone with uh, because of this passive, Dancing Blade. And also, he will be getting 20% of his uh, gouge, his uh, combat units will increase by 20% when he kills... Uh, an enemy very dangerous there and skill number one attacks two enemy uh at the same time so that's a lot of damage increase there so where can you use this hero well you can use him in raid and labyrinth he gives 42 camping morale when you use him with uh, momorancy lorena and ras uh, just for an example this hero you can use him in adventure on recorded history your speed farmer he's going to be clearing stages very fast the side story you can be using him in uh well sort of like in the abyss i guess but not so much i guess uh you can be bringing him in banshee uh banshee hunt can be very successful there you can be using him in uh azimanak hunt as well uh, PvP, all sorts of areas where you can be bringing him. Uh, you can bring him on offense, of course. Uh, so in Arena Guild Wars and World Arena, you can be uh, setting him on your defense as well. If you feel confident, you're going to be going first. There are some com combinations of heroes that you could be pairing him with. So you could uh, counter uh, things coming your way, uh, like an Arbiter Vildred and, and stuff like that. But uh, landing a kill allows him to go again because of Dancing Blade and that is very dangerous. Even though we have Free Spirit area, which could act as your farmer. We have 3 star Ice Warrior uh, Lena, which is very free to play friendly to uh, speed farm with. Uh, this hero still remains as a powerhouse in terms of uh, where you can use him and what can he do for you. Uh, so definitely a top tier hero to uh, start your account with even now. And in first position, we have Sigrid, the Ice Warrior Taurus star sign. This hero is completely insane. Goddess in Wyvern. And Wyvern is definitely a place you're going to be spending a lot of time in. And that's where you're going to be getting your gear, your best gear. You're going to be getting uh crafting materials you're going to be getting of course gold and reforging materials later on so she's a big deal there and she's going to facilitate this whole thing because she has debuffs and she has plenty of them and debuffs is the name of the game when it comes down to wyvern so bleed two uh, bleeds for two turns on skill number one which is very good 50% chance she has an exclusive equipment, one that increases the chance of uh, landing the bleeds uh, by 20% on skill 1 or boosting the damage of uh, Sever, skill number 1 by 20%. And uh, skill number 2, 100% chance to inflict unable to be buffed, debuff, and bleeding for 2 turns. And when the enemy is at 50% health or lower, you activate Sever skill 1. So that's even more bleeding effects and more damage, which is very, very good. And you got a 100% chance to inflict the bleeding effects when this actually activates as 50% health or lower. Skill number 3, penetrates defense by 30% and an additional 10% per debuffs. Very good, super high damage. You can get... Six, uh, six digit numbers with uh, guillotine and it inflicts extinction when the enemy is defeated that means they cannot be revived so you can use her in pvp as well so this hero like i said you're going to be using her in wyvern but you are also going to be using her in uh, raid labyrinth uh, the morale is not that high it's uh, 33 with uh, momorancy lorena and ras but still she is going to be dealing a lot of damage. And uh, why you should go with her compared to other heroes 
Well, there's the fact that she's gonna facilitate your life and is, she's gonna allow you to just farm higher stages of uh, Wyvern uh, without needing crazy gear. So that's a major plus and you should definitely aim to farm a higher stage of uh, Wyvern and she's gonna help you a lot there. You can be uh, using other heroes instead of her. The thing is, you don't need to have a hero that farms faster. You don't need like a, a Vildred really or uh, any speed farmer in the game. Uh, you can do just fine with free spirit Sierra and uh, having some strong friends that do have heroes like uh, Vildred, Lena, uh, just to name a few. Uh, so, I mean, you can do just fine with uh, Sigrid and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in your hunts and it's very important that you get uh, good gear or more chances to get good gear. And uh, yeah, I mean, Sigrid, that's, that's the way to go. And you can be using her in the Abyss you can be using her in, uh, like I said, Raid Labyrinth. You can bring her in PvP because she's got Extinction and she deals a ton of damage as well, especially if you have uh, other heroes that land debuffs in the team. It's gonna be easier for you to set up that skill number three for a one-shot, so very cool. And the fact that she gets an extra attack if the target's at 50% health or lower, that's even more burst damage there. Uh, you can be using her in uh, Arena Offense, Guild War Offense, and uh, World Arena as well. So uh, definitely highly recommended. That's why she's on my list uh, as the number one hero to get. If you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you still haven't. Press the bell notification if you like to be alerted whenever I release a new video. And uh, check out my other videos under my channel. I got playlists of all sorts for PVE and PVP content, over a thousand epic seven videos so far not planning to stop anytime soon guys so that's gonna be it for this one i'm astronox peace out for now